John chapter 9, verse 1 to verse 7 in French. Jésus vit, en passant, un homme aveugle de naissance. Ses disciples lui firent cette question. « Rabbi, qui a péché Cet homme ou ses parents pour qu'il soit né aveugle ?» Jésus répondit « Ce n'est pas que lui ou ses parents aient péché, mais c'est afin que les œuvres de Dieu soient manifestées en lui. Il faut que je fasse, tandis qu'il est jour, les œuvres de celui qui m'a envoyé. » La nuit vient où personne ne peut travailler. Pendant que je suis dans le monde, je suis la lumière du monde. Après avoir dit cela, il cracha à terre et fit de la boue avec sa salive. Puis il appliqua cette boue sur les yeux de l'aveugle. Et il lui dit Va et lave-toi au réservoir de Siloé, nom qui signifie envoyer. Il y alla, se lava et s'en retourna, voyant clair. John chapter 9, verse 1 to verse 7 in English. As he went along, he saw a blind man from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned? This man with parents that he was born blind. Neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus, but this happened so that the work of God might be displayed in his life. As long as it is day, We must do the work of him who sent me. Night is coming when no one can work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Having said this, he spit on the ground, made some mud with the saliva, and put it on the man's eyes. Go, he told him, wash in the pool of Siloam. This word means Sent. So the man went and washed and came home seeing. John chapter 9, verses 8 through 12. Ses voisins et ceux qui auparavant l'avaient connu comme un mendiant disaient N'est-ce pas celui qui se tenait assis et qui mendiait Les uns disaient C'est lui. D'autres disaient Non, mais il lui ressemble. Et lui-même disait C'est moi. Ils lui dirent donc Comment tes yeux ont-ils été ouverts il répondit, « L'homme qu'on appelle Jésus a fait de la boue, a oint mes yeux et m'a dit, « Va au réservoir de Siloé et lave-toi. » J'y suis allé, je me suis lavé et j'ai recouvré la vue. Et ils lui dirent, « Où est cet homme ?» Il répondit, « Je ne le sais. » His neighbors and those who had formerly seen him begging asked, « Isn't this the same man who used to sit and beg ?» Some claimed that he was. Others said, no, he only looks like him. But he himself insisted, I am the man. How then were your eyes opened, they demanded. He replied, the man they called Jesus made some mud and put it on my eyes. He told me to go to Siloam and wash. So I went and washed, and then I could see. Where is this man, they asked him. I do not know, he said. Jean 9, 13 à 17. On emmena alors aux pharisiens l'homme qui avait été aveugle. Or, Jésus avait fait de la boue et lui avait guéri les yeux un jour de sabbat. C'est pourquoi les pharisiens, eux aussi, demandèrent à l'homme ce qui s'était passé pour qu'il voie maintenant. Il leur dit, « Il m'a mis un peu de boue sur les yeux, je me suis lavé la figure et maintenant je vois. » Quelques pharisiens disaient, « Celui qui a fait cela ne peut pas venir de Dieu, car il n'obéit pas à la loi du sabbat. » Mais d'autres répliquaient, « Comment un pécheur pourrait-il faire de tels signes miraculeux ?» Et ils étaient divisés entre eux. Les pharisiens demandèrent encore à l'aveugle guéri, « Et toi, que dis-tu de celui qui a guéri tes yeux ?»« C'est un prophète, » répondit-il. John, chapter 9, verse 13 to 17. They brought to the Pharisees the man who had been blind. Now the day on which Jesus had made the mud and opened the man's eyes was a Sabbath. Therefore the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. He put mud on my eyes, the man replied, and I washed and now I see. Some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, for he does not keep the Sabbath. But others asked, How can a sinner do such miraculous signs? So they were divided. Finally, they turned again to the blind man. What have you to say about him? It was your eyes he opened. 
The man replied, He is a prophet. The Jews did not believe that he had been blind and had received his sight until they called the parents of the man who had received his sight and asked them, Is this your son who you say was born blind? How then does he now see? His parents answered, We know that this is our son and that he was born blind, but how he now sees we do not know, nor do we know who opened his eyes. Ask him. He is of age. He will speak for himself. His parents said these things because they feared the Jews, for the Jews had already agreed that if anyone should confess Jesus to be the Christ, he was to be put out of the synagogue. Therefore, his parents said, He is of age. Ask him. So a second time they called the man who had been blind and said to him, Give glory to God. We know that this man is a sinner. He then answered, Whether he is a sinner, I do not know. One thing I do know, though, that though I was blind, now I see. So they said to him, What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? He answered them, I told you already, and you did not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? You do not want to become his disciples too, do you? They reviled him and said, You are his disciple." But we are disciples of Moses. We know that God has spoken to Moses. But as far as for this man, we do not know where he is from. The man answered and said to them, Well, here is an amazing thing, that you do not know where he is from, and yet he opened my eyes. We know that God does not hear sinners. But if anyone is God-fearing and does his will, he hears him. Since the beginning of time, it has never been heard that anyone opened the eyes of a person born blind. If this man were not from God, he could do nothing. They answered him, You were born entirely in sins, and you are teaching us? So they put him out. <clears throat> Jesus heard that they had put him out, and finding him, he said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? He answered, Who is he, Lord, that I may believe in him? Jesus said to him, You have both seen him, and he is the one who is talking with you. And he said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. And Jesus said, For judgment I came into this world so that those who do not see may see and those who do see those who see may become blind those of the pharisees who were with him heard these things and said to him we are not blind too are we jesus said to them if you were blind you would have no sin but since you say we see you your sin remains <clears throat> 